guys so happy happy World sunday today happy sunday everyone welcome back to my youtube channel uh, this is the first series first episode of the series chicago pro in atlanta and i'm at the airport and i'm waiting on getting my id pre-checked because your girl left all of her IDs, no passport, no driver license, so just waiting on getting checked on board. That's why I leave her. In the next seat, please review the exit seating criteria and responsibilities on the safety information card in your seat pocket. If you do not meet these criteria, do not wish to perform these responsibilities. Have a hidden. Pleasure to welcome you to Atlanta. What a local time! It's 1:51 p.m. Please stay seated with your seatbelt fastened. You're carrying items stowed into the aircraft that's parked at the gate, and the captain next to you the seatbelt side. Be careful when opening overhead vents to avoid injury from items that may have. All right, just made it to the room. Room here. Okay, no laughs, but still pretty dope. A little fridge, microwave, and then coffee machine. gonna unpack I had a couple of my food already prepped in some containers got some rice in there and that's all my food measured out I only had one meal yet and gonna unpack all of that in the fridge and just relax Oh, I guess just made it to Kroger's um, just landed about a couple hours ago I just organized my room and then I walked to Kroger's everything is super convenient everything is walking distance which is great because I don't have to rush about the uber or anything else and we're early it's only Sunday so first run is just getting some water a little omelet maker some utensil and I also found these limited edition salted brown these oreos i'm not an oreo person but when it comes with like crazy limited edition like that with salt on top of it i'm just like yes please so they cut um, it down to like one brand so today just very simple i need to find fish i need to find some egg whites i need to find 
a little oven to cook my things in the room. You guys saw that I have a microwave, I have a fridge, which is great. Um, just need something to cook the actual meat because I don't want anybody to cook my meat. I want my to cook my myself. So that's the plan. And then we're walking back so I don't buy too many things. We'll stick to the main things and probably come back tomorrow. We're Sunday, which is great because I have time. I have time to check around. Everything is super close. Everything is easy. So I'm excited to bring you guys along with this whole journey thing and hopefully get content every single day. So I'm going to keep you posted with what I'm looking for. I want to make that quick because then I want to go train. There's an LA Fitness right by there too. And then the gym by the hotel. So I'm going to wrap this up real quick and keep you guys posted. All right, tilapia on sale. You know what I mean? <laughs> tilapia and asparagus are always on sale when I go on peak week. Two pounds, yes, please. Thank you. Look at this little. Okay, 7.05, just finished my little Kroger's, got some fish omelette, Oreos, eggs, some little scrub thingy. Uh, paper towels the hotel I'm just gonna order Uber to be honest I don't have my hands full or I might walk I don't know little station here Alright, good morning everyone. Day two here in Atlanta. That's full day, but just woke up. It's now went for coffee and I'm gonna go to my room and get some breakfast. So on the plan today, I'm gonna go train. I need the car. Oh shit. <laughs> Let me hold it. Don't show the room. Right. So we got this room that's right in front of the host hotel. It's super convenient. I'm gonna have um, Eliza from Pro Town is gonna be here. Vita Makeup Artist is gonna be here. The room is huge, and yeah, we're gonna be there like here for an entire week. So I really wanted to be like, comfortable and I'm very happy. You just never know, you know, how hotel works. But that's the work I did this morning. Um, you guys have been asking about the stuffing of my suit. So basically, um, before leaving Florida, I stuffed my suit real good with some of that teddy bear stuffing that I got at Michael's. So I got teddy bear stuffing and I also have the pads. You wanna put the pads like close to your boobs and just like put your boobs in the pad and then all of it is just mushy. And 
That's from Toxic Angel, by the way, shout out to them for those two amazing suits and um, yeah, just stuff them up as much as I could and then I'm gonna put the pillow on top of it to make sure that the material and the fabric just kind of stretch it out. And um, let me show you my little setup here. So yesterday we got this fabulous little skillet thing. I actually want to have one for the house, for my house. Actually, this is cool. I have my little station here, the microwave, the fridge, utensils, spices, and my fridge over here. A little fridge going on. Some tilapia, eggs. I already have some meals and the restroom. And then the actual room, I got my little ring light here going on and the lighting is really good. Uh, James is super picky when it comes to check-ins, super picky. Uh, he wants the specific light. So yesterday I was just like arranging everything. So make sure all the check-ins are good. And it's like, you know, makeup station too is so cute. So yeah, I'm gonna go get ready to hit the gym today. So I'm, yesterday we, I took a rest day. I, I mean, we trained at 4.30 a.m. in the morning, which was like a wannabe training and cardio. Then got on the flight, came here, did some groceries and just passed out, which did me great. So I'm ready to hit the gym today. Gonna train a little bit of glutes, a little bit of shoulder, a little bit of rear dance workout thingy. And we're trying a new gym. And every time I try a new gym, that's how I go. I just want to try everything. It's like going in the, you know, new candy store or just like Disney World. You just want to try everything all at once. So it's a good way to do things because I'm in peak week and peak week is just about, you know, bringing food to your muscle. And talking about food, I'm going to have breakfast now. I'm just going to have a um, hundred grams of tilapia fish that I had from yesterday and the food i've been eating the same food for the last three days so i've been filling myself up and my weight just kind of stay there and there's no crazy fluctuation so right now the food stay the same the water stays the same and not changing any variables so with that being said let's get ready i want to hit the gym asap and we'll meet you over there Allô, maman. C'est Hadi de Vidéo. Oh. Hi. C'est Hadi, mon YouTube channel. Oh, je t'aime. Je t'aime aussi. Mon papa. Ok. Mon papa. Allô, Dad. C'est Hadi, mon YouTube channel. C'est Hadi, mon YouTube channel. You're gonna be on my YouTube channel. Yes. Say hi. Say hi to her YouTube channel. I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna finish this thing and then tilapia here is cooked and all looks beautiful. Gorgeous. And I'm gonna pack some meal and talk to you later. Oh, okay. Oh, oui, c'est un gros examen. Je te dirais que c'est le plus gros. Euh, c'est un des, des, des plus gros examens que tu fais. Dans euh, ça. En finance, là. C'est arrivé vite, non? Je pensais pas qu'il était supposé de faire. C'est mieux de le faire le plus vite possible après l'école. Ou même pas. Ah, ouais. Smart. Smart. Moi, mes étudiants faisaient les deux. Ils faisaient CFA et MBA en même temps combinés. 
Ah oh, ouais? Il travaillait en plus, oui, puis il travaillait à temps plein en plus. Mais après ça, tu sais, t'as fini, là, tu sais, t'as 26 ans, puis t'as fini, là. Ouais, non, c'est clair. Tu, tu peux avoir du fun, avoir des enfants, profiter de la vie, voyager. Et... So what are you looking at right now? Just planning, food, food trip. And how many days you're... It's Monday. It's Monday right now. And she's planning for okay. Saturday. No, Sunday morning. No, Saturday. Sunday morning. Yeah, that's for Sunday morning. It's for breakfast. And hopefully Monday. And Monday. Hopefully Monday. Because we're staying two days, two more days. And that's really like something I want to do just every time that I'm going to compete now. I'm actually going to make, you know, like, not a trip out of it, but sort of where I'm able to like explore and see places. Even though if it's, it's, it's just a different state, it's a different country, but. It's worth it. They all have their little like quaint, charmy spots, and I really want to try something special. So I want to make sure that it's good. So yesterday night, I was looking at Instagram and just trying to. Oof. Look at the breakfast burrito. What's going on? Um, so yeah, I'm looking at different places. And Good. We're in the Uber right now. We're about 20 minutes from the gym, Mad House, which is going to be our first time. And can't wait. Can't wait to train. We are here in Atlanta, Georgia, Mad House Gym. Gonna try it. I never came in, but we just got here and ready to train. It's gonna be exciting. And let's just go. Let's go. Wow. Six years old anyway. Oh, I have to be in this, huh? Okay. Of course you do. Oh my god. Okay, so we, we just saw the glutes. Um the glute, can you re-explain like how sure. many leg press you have? Uh, there's 55 all total of different styles in here. Uh, between standing, uh, you know, vertical, that's a 70 degree right there. Uh, we have oh. the the, uh, the real famous Nebula 35 degree. Uh, you know, just, but yeah, every, you know, hack squats, everything. There's uh, 55 different styles of leg press, just leg press uh, the equipment here. This is... There's about 130 pieces of just leg equipment. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm going to be here for like the next four hours. Yeah, usually that's what happens. In the first few workouts with people here, it's it's more just learning everything, learning where everything is, how to use it, what's different, and it gets addictive. You've got to try every piece. So. But I feel like it's pretty organized, like like you were saying that. Oh, yeah. It was, it was really important to us that people knew, you know, what was where and, and how to go about using it. Um, you know, again, like I said, we start with the selectorized in the front, and then we go back into the free weights. Uh, just so people can weigh in and kind of get their bearings. This right. is a piece you're going to like. Uh, have you ever used the hammer strength tape squat? No? Okay. This, you used an arc trainer before, right? No. No? You've never used a side bikes arc trainer? No. Like the elliptical kind of machine where your kind of legs are going like that? Okay, we'll get there. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this such piece, a noob. Yeah, oh my. It. This piece, um, they, they only made about a thousand of them. Uh, and the way this one works, uh, you're gonna, it's, it's really hip and glute heavy. You barely move the knee. And it's got a really long uh, lever just to keep it loaded into the hips. So we're gonna have to get you up on there and try that sometime. Yes, no, today. No? Today is the day. No? Can we do it Can now? No. Tell you what, let me get you a couple 45s. A couple 45? Yep. Okay. I'll have to try this. Okay. I'm 5'8". Okay, let's see here. Give me a seat. Let me grab Kim real quick. Let me get Kim to hold the phone. Okay. Let me see where she is. Kimberly! Get up! I honestly have no words right now. I have no words. This gym is... Freaking unbelievable. Freaking unbelievable. I just can't wait to train all my freaking body here. This is nuts. This is crazy. 
Yeah. Okay. I mean, she's gonna try this out. This is Kimberly. Hi. <laughs> Sir, uh, it was in the Cardinals uh, gym. They uh, they stopped using it because really it just didn't have applications to what they were trying to do. Uh, but let's see. Sometimes just because you work a muscle the same way you'd work it when you're doing athletic you know movements, that doesn't mean you're going to improve your athletic performance. And that was the problem with this one. But for you, I don't think there's going to be a problem here at all. Um, a short person on your left. Okay, so I want you to do, you're going to get up on here, and I'll, I'll hold the camera when you do it. You'll get up on here, you're going to reach forward with one leg, right? Uh huh. Just reach and try to feel the tension in your hamstring because that's what you're trying to work. So you get on there, and you come back, curl, and then bring up. Oh my, okay. Right? You, you dig yeah. your hips in. A lot of, yeah, a lot of, a lot of glute, a lot of hamstring, all the tie in. So, yeah. Okay. Can you hold yourself right here? Mm -hmm. That's right. There you go. Bring it up high. Bring it up high. Get that hamstring to work. There you go. Good. Oh. It out. Nice. Doesn't feel like any other machine, does it? Because you have to press. Yeah. You have to press down yep. on it. That's crazy. I didn't know about that. Oh, it's just right there. Do you know how many there is? A thousand. I think they, I don't think that's they made it. more than a thousand. Mm -hmm. So, but that's, yeah. That's crazy. This one they made about a hundred of. This is the, uh, you've seen MTS pieces, right? This is the MTS squat. And it's kind of like that. It feels very similar in the motion. Uh -huh. so you don't have to climb upstairs to get on it. Uh, and it works one leg at a time. That's why there's one weight stack for each side. So that's a really neat piece. Um, let's see. Told, okay, glutes. I'm sorry. I told you about glutes. Okay. So this is a glute machine. It's a David. Uh, it's kind of similar to the hammer strength uh, backing glute where you're going to get on here and you'll press back against it. So you have a seat belt, you're locking yourself in place, and that's just to work the glutes. Uh, glute machine from Body Masters, uh -huh. Star Trek. Legend Fitness, Life Fitness. Uh, that's a lunge machine right there. Come on across, Jill. So that's the selector oh, lunge okay. machine. okay. Yeah. You're going to grab the handles, and uh -huh. when you grab the handles, you're lifting the weight. You put your non-working leg back on here to let it just move freely, and uh, and then you work it with the, with the front leg. Uh-huh. That's our booty builder right there. So we have all three different designs of booty builders. So we have every single one of them that they made. Oh, you love this? I love this one. Oh, that's a good one. We got a lot of good ones in here. We got, like I said, we got about 25. I mean, you have everything. You literally have everything. That was the goal. We we just got that about a week ago. The nebula. And the thing people love about the nebula, you know, a lot of times you'll see people get on these and they're gonna when they're when they're laying on a flat. They yes. kind of just jerk on it, uh -huh. jerk the hips up. Yep. This makes it where you can't do that. You just it's not can't. possible. Yeah. It, it, it reminds me of, you know what, how people do it, like on the incline, uh, just a bench with like a dumbbell yeah. in between. Yeah, that looks like, yeah. I love doing so, that so you can dig in. The most unusual leg curl we have in here though, we've got two really, we've got an inverse leg curl back in the back, but that is a, that's an odd one right there. You ever seen one of those before? No, it's a, wait, you're laying on your side? Laying on your side. So Why? Arthur Jones <laughs> developed this specifically for pregnant women uh, back in the early 80s. And it, it did well. Um, you know, they're not supposed to do strenuous exercise on their back or on their stomach. So they did well with it. But the fact is, a lot of men and women that weren't pregnant liked it just as much. So they just kept making it. Got it. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a really neat piece. And you wouldn't that's think so that it would feel equal. You know, like you think you'd be working one leg yes, one day. Yes, uh-huh. Once you get on but, it, you realize you're just pivoting on the hip. So it really doesn't matter. And you, it has a really good feel to it. Just another different way to hit it. So that's an neat piece. Wow. I'll show you one of my favorite old, well, here, there's a couple here. This is one of the oldest Nautilus machines ever made. Um, and you'll see these old cams. This is the reason Nautilus is called Nautilus. So um, when he made it, the first machine he made, like the, the prototype, he just called it the Blue Monster. And- The Blue Monster? Hmm? 
if you look at old all the old Nautilus machines, they're all painted blue, and that was why he you know he, he wanted it to be he wanted them to be blue, and he called the first one the Blue Monster. It's supposed to be a multi machine where there's multiple weight stacks on the same machine, and one machine can fill a room. Um, the name didn't really stick, but you could see that the, the the cam here is shaped like a Nautilus shell, so people just started calling it you know the Nautilus machine, and eventually uh, around 1970 that he went ahead and just took the name. So. This machine is a gluten back machine also, and it's a really good one, but it's also a scary one. You're gonna get in here, you want your legs back against this. You put your seat butt on, you crank yourself into place, and you're holding these handles, and you push back against it. Wait, what? <laughs> Bring your, you scoot yourself here. Yeah, your butt, your butt your, is your, like. Your butt's here, Yeah. but your legs are coming back over this. Oh right? my. Yeah. You want to try it before you actually video it because it takes some yeah time. for it sure takes, it takes some learning. Um, let me see. That's amazing. I don't even get on this thing very much. So. Let me see here. Hold on. Hang on. I'm trying to remember how to do the damn thing. Oh, because you can like put it over closer. Let's take a break for a second. <laughs> We're starting with some glutes, just gonna warm up my overall legs. And I found this crazy leg press. So they have 55 leg presses. And um, that one is the, the craziest one, obviously. I wanna start with that one because apparently it's very like soft on the hips and the knee joints and it targets your glutes and your hamstring area. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Right, so I'm gonna try and get down okay, and not die. So you guys can check out the machine and go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one more, fifteen. Now the other way. Uh, one, there you go. Two. Three, come on, four, five, six, seven, eight, come on, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, one more, and drop it. Now turn around, shoulder presses with that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now down, down, right there. Quarter ones at the bottom. Go. One, don't bounce right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five full ones. Go. All the way up. One, 
two, three, four, five more if you got it. Five, four, three, two, one more. Good, drop it. How that feel? Good. I feel a little weak, but it's good. Go. Two. Three. Press away. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. That sounds good. Over here. So this is the machine, if you guys follow bodybuilding, that Ronnie Coleman uses at the Metroflex gym in Arlington, Texas where he, you see his videos where he uses this and then he uses the press right after. So it is a Nautilus machine. I don't know what generation it is. So what I learned was when I used it, you have to push your wrist in here and then push your fist in here. Like create tension between oh. the, your wrist and the pad and your so, fist. So that way your wrist is always higher. Hard and nice and fixed. And now you're gonna raise away and then control, but always put pressure okay. between these two things. Push away, not up, away. It feels different than not putting pressure on it, right? Like you have to put pressure through your wrist, in your hands, in the mat, and on the handle. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, yeah. keep going, you got more, keep going, uh, keep going, keep going, three more, three, uh, two, one more, good, now grab the handles right behind you. That's the only way you get all the way here, yep. if, you, if you press hard, Yeah. so now just push up, 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 go, 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 up, 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 up. Yeah, it's weird. Just press. Is it heavy? Yeah. Now come down. It's not like press. Right there? Now back up. Go. Okay, let me drop it. But you will see. Go. Up and down now. Go. One. Two. Lower, 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 lower. Right there. Right there. Three. Four. Five. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Six. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Seven, keep going, come on. Eight, come on. Nine, keep going. 10, keep going. Come on. Wait, stay right there. Go. 10 more. Keep going. One. Two. Three. Four. One more, one more. Five, good, that's it. Wait until you feel like 10, 20 seconds later, you're gonna, it's gonna feel amazing. Like that video. Watch out. I'll drop the weight. I'm gonna drop the weight. And then a little quarter squeeze. Here. Boom. Not too much in. Elbows higher. Right there. So all the way out. Hold that squeeze. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Come a little bit in. Right there. And then squeeze. One. Two. 
three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Chest up.
Hinge means to push your butt back and torso forward. Uh-huh, now push, yep. Good. Like it? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, come on, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30.
good first workout today. Your glutes, your right shoulder, and then go back. Quick, quick, and have to go back to the hotel and just eat meal number three. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs>